Welcome to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to make a chocolate mint kiss. Now, this is a simple, easy to drink dessert cocktail that's perfect all year round because who doesn't love chocolate and mint together? If you don't, leave a comment down below. If you do, still leave a comment. Now, this is a shaken cocktail, so grab yourself your shaking tin or Boston glass in my case. And we're going to start with a little bit of creme de cacao. Now, creme de cacao is a chocolate liqueur, and there's two types, which is dark and white. White meaning clear, and this is what you need specifically for this recipe. And we're going to start with half an ounce, which is 15 mils. Your second ingredient is a mint liqueur. Now, in this case, I'm using creme de menthe. It's a fantastic peppermint liqueur, and you want one that is green. Do not go with something that's clear. And I say that because you specifically want the color. Now this is one ounce or 30 milliliters. The third ingredient that you're going to use is Bailey's. Now, as you can tell, I don't have a bottle of Bailey's there, but what I do have is a homemade version of Bailey's. And what I will do is I will put a link to the video that tells you exactly how I make this down in the description and at the end of the video as well. But we're going to use a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. It's looking really good. So what we're going to do next is shake this with some ice. And you're going to want to shake it for a good 10 to 15 seconds and you want to get this good and frothy. So fill your shaker tin or glass in this case with ice. Slap your Boston tin down really, really good. Make sure you have a good seal. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand minty somethings. Anything minty you want by any chance. And what we're going to do is serve this in an up style. So we're going to serve this directly into a coupe glass, but we are going to fine strain it to keep out any chunks of ice. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna garnish it by not garnishing it at all. So immediately I get a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of mint. Mmm, that is really good. The mint is not overpowering at all. The chocolate is there, the Baileys is there, and it blends together really well. If you like dessert style cocktails, take a look right here.